What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to College Football Talk with Peter Burtnett. Number 20, um, 23, Kansas State. They're up to 20 now. Dominated, really. Oklahoma State, who drops out of the top 25, 42 to 20. Avery Johnson kind of rebuilt his Heisman hype with five total touchdowns after a little bit of a lackluster performance in their blowout loss at BYU last week. DJ Giddens also ran for 187 yards for 12.5 yards per carry. A lot of pop from the Wildcats running back. And, and the Cowboys stock continues to plummet, continues to slip out of the Big 12 contention. They're 0-2 now. They're going to have to win out to really seriously com- contend in the conference and the way that Alan Bowman and Ollie Gordon have struggled so far, I don't think they're going to be turning it around anytime soon. And I think the Big 12 is getting super competitive. I'll save that for later in this video. But I think that's that's it for Oklahoma State. And I think Kansas State gets a big bounce back. That was a tough environment to go into to Provo last week, a late game. I think they proved that they're still there. I do think, though, Oklahoma State, back-to-back losses now to Utah and Kansas State is not as good as some people thought they would be. I kind of saw that. Some of the areas that they had last year, um, even with the success that Gordon had, they didn't rank very high in terms of moving the ball, either rushing or total offense. Defensively, they had some struggles, and I think those have popped up this year and have resulted in losses. So I'm not too surprised by the way Oklahoma State has struggled. I am a little bit impressed by Kansas State though I think a little bit of you know which team will show up will it be the team that lost to BYU or will it be a team that dominated Arizona and also dominated Oklahoma State speaking of Arizona the Wildcats defense completely stop Utah who was number 10 dropped down to number 18 um, Noah Fafita to Kean Burnett a Servite connection those two guys were teammates in Anaheim at a high at Servite high school there to go up 23 to 10 with about eight minutes left in that one. Fafita threw for 197 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. His leading receiver has been kind of covered at times this season. To Toy Roa McMillan, six receptions for 50 yards. That's been something to watch. It seems like defenses have really been keying in on him this year. He had one big game um, this year, but other than that, has been a little bit, you know, found it a little bit more difficult to get those big plays. But it's a huge win for Arizona. And I think it really opens up the Big 12 race. And I guess I'll, I'll get into that right now since I'm talking about these Big 12 games right now. I think this Big 12 race has intensified and it has really opened up. You've got five teams right now that are still undefeated in conference. BYU and Colorado are leading the way at 2-0. and Big win for the Buffaloes. They were 15-point underdogs and they get a dominant 48-21 to win over Central Florida in Orlando. Obviously, another big game from Travis Hunter, who is really, I mean, at this point, as long as he, God forbid, doesn't get hurt, he will be in New York for the Heisman Ceremony and a good game for Shador Sanders as well. Um, This Colorado team has proven so far they've had one bad game and they've had four fairly good games. North Dakota State, they struggled a little bit, but they dominate here against UCF, so they go to 2-0. And then three other teams, Iowa State, who, whose head coach, Matt Campbell, became the winningest coach in the school's history. Arizona and West Virginia, I believe, are all 1-0. and They're all undefeated. Meanwhile, Utah and Kansas State both have a loss each, and obviously mentioned Oklahoma State. They've got two. So this is, this is a wide-open race. I think it's very competitive. And any one of those five teams, I mean, we knew going into the season that it was going to be a competitive conference, but... The teams that we expected to maybe lead the way, like Utah, like Oklahoma State, and even Kansas State, have kind of slipped back a little bit to teams like a rising Iowa State or BYU especially. I think BYU has been the most surprising in the Big 12 so far. 